Welcome, users, to CrossCode. I'm Box McCloud. This is a new series. Thank you for joining me. CrossCode is a 2D, kind of an RPG, MMO kind of game, but it's a single player game. I have not gotten very far in it at all, but we're going to play through this together. And we're going to explore what the world has to offer here. And, uh, yeah, let's just dive right in. So, I'm Leah, and we are playing an MMO called, uh, Cross Worlds. I don't really know what's going on in the game yet. This is literally the very beginning of the game past the tutorial. Move around here. You have a melee, just like you would expect. The other main feature of combat in this game is what's called VRIs, but... They're usually referred to as balls. You can aim around here. And you shoot. Now, if I just have the stick down and I hold down the stick, you just shoot the balls wherever you want over and over again. If you hold down your aim until it becomes red like that, you can ricochet. These will be the main ways for me to solve puzzles, to fight things, etc., etc. As for the story of this game, I'm not exactly sure what's going on yet. Uh, we are Leah. We are an avatar in this game. Uh, and apparently... Uh, hooked in... It's kind of a VR style thing, so we're hooked in. An actual person is hooked in to play this. Um, and in the tutorial, essentially, we were on a cargo ship that... We were the only avatar on it. Everyone else was apparently a real person of some sort. It's not exactly clear what these distinguishing differences are. And we are in the game world called the Playground here. And this is Rhombus Square specifically. And uh, we have a handler dude, and we're just trying to blend in right now. Apparently we've played this game before. We've been brought back for some unknown purpose. And there's been some big bad that recognized us and was looking for us and... Yeah, I'm kind of in the dark about things, and we're just going to go with it. So, kind of like any MMO, there's going to be a lot of NPCs to talk to, side quests, dialogue, etc., etc. And we're just going to see what this game has to offer. Hopefully, things will work out. Congratulations on reaching the third stage of Newcomer's Bridge. I'm only on the first stage, though. You've just arrived at the final waiting area. You can take a break here and enjoy the view. Once you're ready, proceed to the teleporter at the other end of this area to clear the final stage or to enter the final stage. Leah, by the way, cannot talk. There was a malfunction with her speech synthesizer. She can nod, she can say nothing, and she can say hi. That's it. That's all she can say right now. So just remember, this is an MMO kind of world, so expect all of the kind of MMO trappings if you were playing an MMO. Can I talk to you? Nope, this guy's just gonna pace back and forth. Hi! Oh hey, what's up? What's the matter? First a greeting and now silence? You're a strange one. Oh. Sorry, that came across the wrong way. You must be here for the view. It's gorgeous, right? Cross Worlds expands over the whole land you see over here. People call it the croissant because the island is shaped like one. Eh. <laughs> I don't really know how to uh, say dot dot dot, but you know. Dang, I can barely see a thing. You should totally choose a short avatar, they said. It'll be so cute, they said. Just great. You're in the same boat, huh? <laughs> That's cute. We're about to enter the final stage of the bridge. You'll be confronted with a multitude of puzzle and combat situations. Make use of all the skills you learned in the previous stages. Expect your skill set to be further expanded over the course of the final stage. As a reward for passing Newcomer's Bridge, you'll be granted access to the mainland. It's not really much of a reward in the sense of an MMO, is it? We just got smacked into here. Pardon. Didn't see you there. 
Hi. Uh, bonjour. You're new here too, right? Yes. But I've not noticed you up here before. Oh, does this mean you caught up after me? Eh, mm, yes. Huh, you must be very quick with the tutorials. But I got the hang of it now too. You will not beat me on the last tutorial stage, non. Let's meet at the end. I will be waiting. Au revoir. Yes, very competitive, I agree. It's our little handler dude, he kind of uh, guides us, you know. Please step on the red teleport panel to enter the final stage. Cool. Let's go to rookie dungeon number three then. Oh, they added a welcome sign. Very hospitable. Hospitable? Hospitable. Same thing. You looking for that red-headed pentafist from before? Well, I'm afraid you'll not find her here. You see, each player is placed into a separate instance of these rooms. You will find plenty of puzzles ahead. You really would not want other players to interfere around here. So it's all about who will be fastest by themselves, right? I don't think there's actually a time limit, but yeah. Instance dungeons. You, you, if you've played an MMO, you know what that means. You will not be running into other NPCs, essentially, is what this means. Alright, Leah, I will be gone for a couple of minutes. I'll contact Jet and Carla and try to investigate that blue individual. I'm sure you'll be fine by yourself. The blue individual was a high-level player that made his way towards where we were. And essentially was looking for Leah and said, Oh, I recognize you. You're surely this person. And summoned a big boss fight. And uh, then he was eliminated by the people that were on the ship because they were essentially staff for the game. Maybe they were the equivalent of the GMs. I'm not really sure. So, there'll be a lot of puzzles in this game. A lot involving the use of uh, our little thingamajig. The VRIs. Hopefully I'll not screw them up too badly. And now for these, you have to hit every prism. And you'll get to do that kind of stuff. Oh, we have... Well, how do I go about... Can these get pushed? Can I stand on this? Does that do anything? This won't open, right? No. So there's a verticality to this game. As you might suspect. I can't push any of these, and I don't think I can hit them. Oh, okay. You totally can. Uh -huh. So yeah, get used to my horrible puzzle skills here. And looks like we have some combat now. You have dodge as well? This game's also going to be quite difficult. I know that ahead of time at this point. I just have a feeling that I'm going to be struggling quite a bit. What did we just unlock? Ooh, the quick menu has been activated. That sounds useful. Press and hold left trigger to open the quick menu. Consume items, open the map, inspect the environment. Sounds good to me. Hey, makes sense. Looks like a map. 
on the ground floor. We have a world map here. I can see why it's shaped like a croissant. Makes sense. Also, we can inspect the environment. A chest. What's inside? That's cool. Got some green leaf tea. And sandwiches. Sounds like a good meal to me. Onward to the next level. Now these orange barriers you can shoot through. See that sick dodge I just totally didn't do there? Let open that up. Looks like I need to get into these doors to hit those switches to activate this to let me get out of here. That That's fine. Gotta have good timing, I guess. Just something I'm lacking. Very lacking. Oh god. Oh man, how long are we gonna be here doing this for? Well, that was a silly thing to do, wasn't it? What does that do? Ah, okay. Oh, nope. I... okay. Luckily, our health recharges quickly. Oh, okay, I get it now. Silly me. Alright. That's... <laughs> I realized what I had to do just a smidge too late there. Alright, well, we got this. This is the... The first of many such... Frustrations, I suppose you could call it. Nah, I wouldn't even call it frustrations. That's too strong of a word. It's puzzles. Oh, well... <laughs> that was... That was a less than ideal way to handle that. Is all I'll say. It's a little awkward for me to use these balls because you have to... move the right stick around and then you fire with the right bumper. It just feels odd to me. I don't... why did it do that? That's not what I wanted. That's less than ideal. Oh boy, this is gonna be a doozy of a let's play. If this is how the first dungeon is going. There, I could just do that. That's a little easier, isn't it? <laughs> Ray, we figured it out. Excellent. Alright. Combat time. enough. Hooray, we lowered the barrier. Is this going to lead out to where we need to shoot the thing? Yep. That's one. 
So now we're gonna head down here and do more puzzles, I'm assuming. Ah, okay. I need to stand on this. That went a little less painful. We got some combat in here, it looks like. I could be dodging those, but I'm being bad and not. Oh, hey. Another thing I should mention, you can break enemies, and when you hit them when they're broken, you deal a lot more damage to them. Alright. Man, we're so good at this game. We've solved the beginning rookie dungeon. <laughs> Perfect. I'm back. Hi. Greetings from Jet and Carla. Everything's back on normal on the MS Solar. That was the cargo ship that we were on. There are no traces left of that blue individual. My cat is meowing at me. I also tried to find some information about him, but there's nothing. We can be pretty certain that he's not connected to the official game. He must be a hacker. One of those Chinese gold farmers. I just cannot imagine a regular player leaving Crossworlds and going on a rampage like this. Something very strange is going on here. Not to mention he recognized you. Your memory might, in fact, contain some answers to all of this. Anyway, there's no need to worry about that right now. Our goal is simply to play Crossworlds. I see you've made a lot of progress already. So, onwards. Onwards indeed. What have we unlocked? The character menu, that sounds useful. Ah. Select your favorite items, equip items to prepare yourself for battle. Hey, it makes sense to me. That's that button. We have no quest activated. Here's our equipment. Pretty standard stuff here from an RPG. We have max HP, attack, defense, and focus, as well as elemental resistances, modifiers, cool. Currently have sandwiches and green leaf tea. So how do I... Ah, that's how you assign a favorite. That's cool. We obtained two rookie blades, a rookie hat, rookie, rookie belt, Rookie boots. Well, we're gonna equip our new items. They certainly feel rookie-ish. Hey, better than nothing though, right? Status-wise, we have a long ways to go before we level up. Oh, right. Enemies start to give XP. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was being attacked. Thank you, boss man.
Well, that was all right, a little sloppy, but... Hey, speaking of levels, we gained one, another CP, some max HP, and some focus. Already reached level three? That's strange. Thought you were supposed to reach level two at this point. I suppose they may have added more enemies. No, no, we fought a giant cra a giant enemy crab on that boat. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. The orbs allow travel in only one direction. Oh god. Um Yeah, simple enough. Ooh, incoming. Triple bears, eh? What's this bad boy? Ooh, a turret. Activate that at a different time. I also need to not die. attention when I should be. Also, let's consume. Or we'll just die. I thought I ate a sandwich, but I guess I did not eat a sandwich. First death on the first boss. Seems appropriate. Maybe I can just melee it. No, this seems... This time, I'd say. And yet, I still get hit. That went a lot smoother the second time around, as is to be expected. We've unlocked the Master of Turrets trophy. Is that a Metallica reference? And we've gained a level. Sweet. Nice work. You did great. You didn't really do great. Oh look, we can just jump off a cliff to our death. We did great. 
teleport to onwards. Ready for one big upgrade? I'm ready. Circuits activated. What do we have here? Activate circuits using circus po cir circus circuit points earned with each level up. Certain skills unlock combat arts that can be used in battles. You can switch between branching skills at any time without spending CP. Excellent. You now get special points used for combat arts. Excellent. So now, we have ourselves a badass little upgrade tree. I think I'm gonna go with the defensive build to start with in this game since uh, we definitely are gonna be taking a lot of damage. Let's do Proximity Blast, that sounds great. And we still have one CP, so I guess we'll take HP as well, since that would synchronize nicely. Sure. Learn how to use guard arts in combat. Yes, let's see this tutorial. In guard, you press right trigger to charge the guard. Out. Release right trigger again to execute the attack. So, you have a shield with B. Easy enough to do. See our SP gauge in the upper left that recovers? Leah, please wait a second. I have a little upgrade for you as well. Mm hmm? Finally managed to add another word to your vocabulary. Well, you know how it is. No shiny effects from me, just the upgrade. Here it goes. Ooh, we can now say Leah. I think you'll need this one since I'll not be able to introduce you to other people anymore. Leah, hi. Hi, hi, Leah. <laughs> hi, Leah, hi. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I know, it takes a long time to add these words. It's a very involved process, actually. Now you need to manually extend your thought control model, essentially modifying a statistically generated code base by hand. It's very technical. The technology to control avatars is, well, complicated. And that's an understatement. Anyway, the second word's done. I'll work on the next one right away. Leah! Great. Here's the exit. Ha! Ah, told you I'd be first. Hi. Phew. Oh, we. Wasn't that fun. I was very surprised by that boss at the end. Pardon, I didn't even introduce myself. Je m'appelle Emile. Nickname? Oh, Emilinator. There we go. I know, it's genius, right? So, uh, what's your name? Leah. Leah, nice to meet you. So, are you ready to take the sky rails? Is that like your, your... Oh, well, that's simple enough. I wish we could already explore the city itself, but none. Don't you know? The sky rail will take you straight to Cross Central. From there, you'll be transported to the mainland. You will only be able to enter Rhombus Square much later. We, oui, it sucks, I know. You over there! Check out this spiky-haired dude. Yes, you, the blue-haired spheromancer. That's our class, by the way. Hi? Before, you just appeared out of nowhere. Suspicious. And what do I see now? You're at level four. And this is unheard of. I'm forced to assume. You, young lady. Have been cheating! Objection! 
What? Monsieur, going straight for the accusations. How could you be so sure about it? Just because you're stuck at level 3 doesn't mean... Possible! No player in record has ever reached level 4 at this point. Young lady, surely I don't need to explain to you the faults of such actions. Cheating will never pay off in the long run. Hi. Is that all you have to say? Oh dear, what is going on here? Jorn, not jo Jorn? I have exposed this cheater here. And now you're lecturing her? Yes, about the wrongness of her actions. Isn't this guy just a crusader? How about no? What? I'll just go ahead and pretend I don't know you. Come on. Apologies for my friend's behavior. He sometimes pretends to be a moderator. He's not. N no problem. Oomph. Young lady, I'll let you off this time. Reflect on your actions. Mon dieu, what was the deal with him? I hope we don't meet players like him around here too often. Anyway, let's go on. I want to finally reach Rookie Harbor. You can come with me if you want to. Très bien, let's go. Whoa, my heart just stopped there for a second. That was close. Is it? It's because you've collected all those extra XP from that crab boss. I should have noticed this earlier. Sorry. Told ya. Well, on that note, we're going to end the video here. And when we return, I suppose we're going to head back to Rookie Harbor. So thank you for joining me for this adventure into Crossroads. Uh, I think it's going to be an exciting... Uh, crossroads. Cross code, excuse me. I, uh, I hope it's going to be enjoyable for you as it is for me. So... See you in the next video, guys.